What's going on YouTube family? If you're a developing HR practitioner, today we're going to look at the four ways you can position yourself to contribute in streamlining your HR organization. Greg here from Streamline HR Solutions. In my first few videos, I touched on the five groups that can benefit from learning the concepts of streamlining policies, processes, systems, and ways of working to make their HR department more effective. We are now looking at each of these groups and how they can contribute to streamlining your company's HR organization. You can see the videos following the links below. However, right now, we're gonna dig a little deeper into how you, as a developing HR practitioner, can contribute to streamlining everything in your HR department. We're gonna focus four areas that you can concentrate on to become a true expert. So let's jump in. One of the first things any HR practitioner needs to understand are the processes, policies, and available tools, and how each of these intends to make the organization better. If a policy is not making an impact in the company, is it necessary? If it's a process that's too complex, you need to simplify it. However, for you to be educated on your decisions on whether something is too complex or makes an impact, you really need to understand why it was implemented and how it contributes to the organization in the first place. Once you understand what's under the hood, you can now start thinking of ways to evolve the organization. The next thing you want to look into are the processes of the other departments. Maybe you can't figure out why your HR team designed levels the way they did. Then one day you're reading some of the practices and policies from the accounting department and you uncover that people that are grades 12 and above have the ability to approve expenses over $10,000. There are times when processes in another department are directly driven off of a policy that maybe you're considering changing. In these instances, you need to develop a strong understanding and how anything you manipulate can impact something seemingly unrelated. Another key point is that other departments may have tools, processes, and practices that can be easily implemented in your department. By studying how marketing prepares communications, it may help with how you develop your HR messaging going forward. So take time to reach out to others in the organization and learn from them. The cost of a cup of coffee to glean this information from them can be a wise investment. Also, go to professional association meetings and network with people at other companies. So identify three to five processes, policies, or tools in your organization that you want to get a better understanding of. Now go to the meeting and talk to people. Find out what they do for those same three to five items. <clears throat> when you talk to enough people, you're either going to walk away saying, A, things are perfect for how we do it. B, you know, things are pretty good, but we need to do a little more tweaking. Or C, we've got a, we've got a major overhaul that we've got to do. As a newer HR person, the best thing you can do is go out and meet people. And the last point, I mentioned professional associations. However, going to the meetings is not enough. You need to build a network of varying level HR professionals from different areas of expertise. Have an incentive plan expert that you know, maybe an executive uh, pay expert, benefits experts, retirement experts, recruiting, employee relations, uh, labor relations, all types of stuff, and so on. Keep notes on people in your network. Each month, pick a couple people in your network to take to coffee or maybe take to lunch. Share with them articles that they may find useful. The important thing is that when you encounter a situation in your career that you're not quite sure how to handle, having that strong network will help you identify a solution. I found that this network can help you in many other ways as well. I've talked to HR professionals about career ideas, development opportunities, how to improve skills in a particular area. Some of your best lessons might only cost you a lunch. By focusing on developing in these areas, it will build a foundation for you to grow into an HR process streamlining superhero. I hope you found value from this video. The next couple of videos in this series are going to address how students and even small business owners and managers, what they can do to understand HR practices and learn how to make recommendations on how companies can streamline their practices. If you like what you saw, please subscribe and share this video with those that might benefit. If you have an idea for future topics that we can talk about in HR Streamline Solutions, please leave a comment below. Until next time, YouTube community, take care.